Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and this is uh, the first lesson in Chapter 2 that we're doing. It's on multiplication comparison, and it's uh, beginning uh, steps of algebra. Okay, so here's for our teachers, our common core strand. We're going to be using the four math operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, uh, with whole numbers to solve some problems here. So our essential question here is how can we use the multiplication as the comparison with addition? So it'll make sense, I think, after this. So accessing some prior knowledge. Write 9 times 4 as an addition problem in two different ways. Okay, well, 9 times 4 can be treated as uh, 4 9s, okay? So, uh, and add it. So, 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 9 is uh, 27, 27 plus 9 is 36. So, 9 times 4 is the same as this many 9s, okay? Or we can do um, uh, 9 4s. There it is written as 9 4s. You see, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I added all those fours up, it would also equal 36. Okay. So when we're talking about multiplication, uh, uh, we can use the commutative property, and the commutative property just states that we can either do nine times four or four times nine, and we get the same thing. So for example, you know when when uh, you, you hear about your parents uh, driving to work, they call it commuting to work. When I drive to school to go teach, I call I'm commuting to work. So what's happening is with the, this 9 and this 4 is they're commuting around this multiplication sign. 9 times 4 is the same as 4 times 9. You see how they flipped around the multiplication? They're commuting around the multiplication sign. So they both equal 36. That's called the commutative property. So just remember we're going to use this. Okay, one of my favorite shows, not one of my favorite shows, my favorite show is an oldie show. It's called the Andy Griffith Show. So here's Andy and Barney, the stars of the show here. So Andy has nine dimes. Barney has four times as many dimes as Andy. How many dimes uh, does Barney have? Okay, so we're going to draw a model and write the equation to solve. Okay, so here's a model right here. So it says uh, Andy has uh, nine dimes, so I'm going to go ahead and put nine right there. And then it says uh, Barney has four times as many dimes. So I'm going to put uh, for these four boxes, because Barney has four times as many as Andy does. Uh, so I'm going to put a nine here, a nine here, a nine here, and a nine here, and all those boxes right there, okay? So um, how many? So the question's asking, how many dimes does Barney have? Well, that's why I put uh, N right there. N is the number that we're looking for, so we'll call N the number, okay? So remember, Andy has nine dimes. Barney has four of them, four times as many as that. Well, so what am I going to do? It says, uh, how many, time, how many uh, dimes does Barney have? We just add all those together. Okay, we've already done 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. That equals 36. Okay, so Barney has 36 dimes. Well, that's easy enough, right? Okay, so here's uh, what we just did right there. So uh, what did we need to compare? Well, we needed to compare the dimes that uh, both Andy and Barney had. So you might see questions like that. So it'll ask you to uh, uh, use the model and write an equation to solve. Okay, so my uh, uh, model is going to be this, you guys. This N right here is going to equal... Uh, it's going to equal, I'm going to go ahead and put um, uh, uh, 9 here times 4, okay, because um, uh, there's 4 9's right here. See how I have 4 9's? Remember how we did that addition problem with that? So, uh, oops, I did 4 times 9 or all. Remember, it's the same as 9 times 4, you guys. So there's 4 groups of 9. That's probably better because there's 4 9's right there. That's what this says. There's 4 9's. So 4 times 9 is 36. So up here, 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 equals 36. Okay, so what we've done is we've shown this multiplication problem as an addition problem right here. And either way, you get 36. Okay, so the value of n is 36. All right? So describe what is being compared and explain how the comparison model relates to the equation. Okay, so Andy's dimes are being uh, compared to Barney's dimes. We already know that. And the model showed us up above up here that Andy had nine dimes right here. And Barney has four times as many of that. So here's Barney's four times as many dimes right here. Or four times nine, which is 36. So since the total number of Barney's dimes was unknown, we wrote, uh, we wrote the equation N equals four times nine. Okay? Don't let it get too confusing on you guys. I'm sure, um, you know, if you can get the answer in one form or another, I always tell my students, you know, as you get higher in math, there's more, uh, there's several more ways to solve in a problem, and by the time get, kids get in my Algebra 2 class or even Calculus class, 
and they ask me, can I do it this way? I'll ask them, did you get the right answer? And if they say yes, I'll say uh, yes, and you can do it that way because there's, there's several ways to do it. Okay, so explain uh, uh, how the equation uh, for 4 is, is 2 more than 2 is different from the equation 4 is 2 times as many as 2. Okay, well, more than, you guys, like what if I said, what if I said I'm one year uh, more than your teacher's age? Okay, well, okay, and say your teacher was 50 years old. How much would I be? Well, I would be 51 years old because I'd be one more than that. So, so, um, uh, so if I said I am one more than that, I'm adding to that. But if I say I'm I'm two times as many as that, I am multiplying. So, so this blue equation right here, four is is means equals in math, you guys. So this says four equals two more than. This means two plus two. Okay. And then um, let's see. Did I do? Did I do both of them there? Oh, I did. Okay. So, so this here's another one. Four is okay. So there's my four is two times as many twos. Do you see the difference between this one and this one? More than means plus. Times means multiply right there. Okay. So they're just different ways to uh, express different uh, equations right here. Let's try another. Uh, draw a model and write an equation to solve. Okay. So here we go. All right, don't worry, I got some more space coming over here. So Otis has three times as many pencils as Floyd. Okay, Otis, uh, Otis and Floyd are characters in the in the Andy Griffith show. Otis has three times as many pencils as Floyd. Otis has six pencils. So how many pencils does Floyd have? Okay, now be careful. You might get tricked on this because I sort of did at the beginning. Okay, so here's some questions. How many pencils does Otis have? Okay, over here it says Otis has six pencils. So I know that part right there. Okay, Otis has six pencils. I put that in blue, so there's that right there. How many pencils does Floyd have? Okay, well, we don't know how many pencils Floyd has. Um, um, and so we're going to use N for Floyd's number of pencils right here. How many pencils does Floyd have? I do know this, that Otis has three times as many pencils as Floyd, okay? And since Otis has six, so we don't know how many pencils Floyd has. We can use N to, uh, for Floyd's pencils right here. So, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and make this model right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Otis right here and Floyd right here. Since I don't know Floyd, I put N right there. And Otis has three times as many. Now, I know Otis has six. Okay, so I'm going to put an N here, an N here, and an N here right here. Okay, so after you see this model, this is when it came much more clear to me, you guys. Okay, if three of these guys added together equals six right here, what do you think N has to be? Well, it has to be 2, because 2 plus 2 plus 2 would get me 6 right there. So Floyd must have 2 pencils. And that makes sense, because Otis has 3 times as many. And since Otis has, has 6, then we have um, uh, 3n equals 6. So um, let's try another, you guys. Let's draw a model and write an equation to solve this guy, OK? So let's here's some, um, uh, oh yeah, the, the question said to draw a model. Well, we did draw a model. That was this guy right here. Here's our model right here. And then it also said to uh, write an equation to solve. So let's go ahead and write an equation. Sorry, I got a little off track there. So here we go. So I'm going to say 6 equals, 6 equals how many n's, you guys? And that's what goes right here, 3 times n right there. So I'm going to put that in right there. Okay, and then so, um, uh, and then you think for a second here, you guys, this says right here, three times what number equals six? Okay, hopefully you guys know that three times two equals six right there. Okay, so the value of n must be two. So n is how many pencils Floyd had. So Floyd has uh, two pencils right there. Okay, all right, so you can think of this as three n equals six, or n plus n plus n equals six. What number plus itself th uh, three times equals six? Okay, let's try another one, you guys. Uh, write an equation uh, or a comparison sentence. Okay, so here I want you to write an equation with this sentence right here, and here I want you to write a comparison a comparison sentence with this. Let's go over here, you guys. 24 is, okay, remember is is this equal sign. So here it's going to be 24 is. This says six times as many as four. So I'm going to put six here and four here. So 24 equals six times four. That's what this says. So it says write an equation right here. Okay. So I'll put that in right there. Okay. This one says seven times five equals 35. 
Okay, so here, what do you think is going to go here? 7, 7 times as many as 5 is, remember is is my equal sign, is 35. Okay, so you're going to see some questions like that when you're going through your textbook, I suppose. All right, hope that helps you guys. And if it does, then, then uh, please click like. And otherwise, take care, you guys.